South African farmer Andili Nguena was returning home from Cape Town when it started snowing. He rushed back to his farm 250 kilometers away in KwaZulu-Natal Midlands to check on his animals. They were very stressed, but after putting them in the shed, those ones who were still be able to move, they, 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 they recovered because when you put them in the shed, you, you bring them some food. Tragically, not all of Nguena's animals survived. He took a big hit with the loss of four breeding cows and their offspring, which he rears for auction. For me, it's a huge setback because when four female cattle died with, 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 their, with their young ones, that's a lot of damage because you, as you bought those cattle, you expect them to give you at least five years. So that's too much at least if that's uh, 120 to 180k per year but it's all gone weather related costs are becoming astronomical for farmers like Nguena. he forks out around fifty thousand dollars a year to deal with frequent hail flooding and snow now which he never seen on his farm before so if our government can put aside some of the disaster management funds because it's going to be much easier if they have something like that. You see, we had floods from 22, 23, 24. We haven't seen anything from government. Authorities are still assessing the losses suffered by farmers in the region. We didn't see the impact like we did with the, with the storms. So this one was more in terms of access of roads, in terms of traveling, but the livestock that were affected um, in those areas. There has been quantification of trying to understand how much in terms of agriculture have been affected. The agricultural community are calling for swift action to address the effects of climate change, which are intensifying with each passing year. Without proper disaster management plans and early warning systems, farmers are left in the dark with inclement weather conditions. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town.